my own net home to the land of Columbia. I am bound for the long to work for the living. Sure, it fills my heart with woe and to part from the land where the green shamrocks grow. <coughs> Farewell to you, mother, tis of me you think. And if I could afford it, I would dress you in silk. So cheer up your fond heart, <coughs> For the day will soon come when you receive a letter from your own darling son. Farewell to you, Father, who toiled through the hours, made the green fields and meadows by the sweat of your brow to rear me you worked hard till your arms grew sore if the lord spares my strength you'll ne'er labor no more farewell to you cousins and comrades so true. It is many a little long night as I rambled with you to the patrons and races and to the law fair with the tables loud rapping and songs in the air. Farewell to you, sweetheart, you're the dearest to me. Like the red rose in summer, it is to the honey bee. If I had the riches of Lachlan's great shore, on you I would restore them to you, I adore. The sun, it is shining o'er the Galtys' proud tops, and my parents are standing as they shed their last drop. The ships on the ocean the boat's in full sail. Fare thee well to you, sweetheart. Goodbye, Inish Fail. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you.
Blacksdale's Mount Lamster and Brandon Hill. I rambled round by that peaceful valley, by Boris Craig and St. Mullins Mound, where saints and sages of former ages repose in peace on that holy ground. O'er bog and mountain, o'er stream and fountain, while turning onwards, I pause and weep. At Knox Squire, a Hannah, and Valamorphy, where friends, relations, and parents sleep. And drawing nearer, a vision clearer, on tin the carriage, on rock I stand. Far to view the scenes and the change conditions since boyhood days in my native land. Our friends are scattered, their homesteads chattered by ruthless tyrants who did despise. But some are left to maintain the battle, their right to live on their native style. So stand together and be united, like a band of brothers united stand. And we'll drive the vipers out of old Ireland and gain fair freedom for home and land. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Shine is beginning, close by the window, young Eileen is spinning. Bend o'er the fire, her blind grandmother sitting, is crooning and moaning and drowsily knitting. Merrily, cheerily, noiselessly whirring. Swings the wheel, spins the wheel, while the fun stirring. Sprightly and mightily and airily ring. <clears throat> Thrills the sweet voice of the young maiden singing. I lean the car, I hear someone tapping. Tis the ivy, dear mother, against the glass flapping. Ily, I surely hear somebody saying, "'Tis the sound, mother dear, of the autumn winds dying. What's that noise that I hear, and the window I wonder? Tis the little birds chirping, the holly bush under. What makes you keep shoving and moving your stool on? And singing all wrong the old song of the cool. There's a farm and the casement in the farm of her true love. And he whispers with face bent, I'm waiting for you, love. Stamp upon <coughs> the stool through the lattice, step lightly. And we'll rove in the grove while the moon's shining brightly. The maid shakes her head on her lips, lay her fingers, steals up from her seat, longs to go and yet lingers. A frightened glance turns from her drowsy grandmother, hunts one foot on the stool, spins the wheel wind the other. Lazily, easily swings now the wheel round, Slowly and lowly is heard now the real sound. Noiseless and light to the lattice above her, 
The night stamps and then leaps to the arms of her lover. Slower and slower and slower the wheel swings. Lower and lower and lower the reel rings. Ere the reel nor the wheel stops there spinning and moving. Through the grove the young lovers by moonlight are roving. There are memories crowding around me as I write this little poem. Bring back sweet cameos of Ireland and my home. Poor in worldly wealth am I, but rich in memories lore. And one of the grandest memories that I have is the old half door. In a little snug thatched cottage neath the valley Hura Hills, a little stream ran near it, filling the valley with its trills. I was always welcome there to share their meager store when I'd shout, God save all here today, or the old half door. In summer it was cool and sweet within that little den, and strange shafts of sunlight came all unbidden in. In winter it gave shelter when the mighty storms roared. They compromised with nature, did the old half door. It was a source of invitation to people passing by. You could rest your elbows on it and all the world filled your eye. No need for television then, nor satellites to soar, because you heard the very latest or the old half door. The hens would rest upon it when the dog was fast asleep, and wild birds gathered round it in search of little treats. The vagabond and the homeless were welcome there of yore. That was like the League of Nations was the old half door. My heart is sad and lonely as this scene comes back to me. How they knelt there on the mud floor to say the rosary. All nature seemed to stand still and in silence did adore as the aves swept to heaven for the old half door. That little house has vanished, but the stream keeps lilting on. A perfect panegyric to the old folks dead and gone. I hope it'll keep on singing there <coughs> till we reach to heaven's shore to renew again the times we spent for the old Afro. I love the girl on time when my life was in its prime. When the summer even seemed to have no end, in the garden we would walk, where the rose and holly hug, their loveliness no jewel could transcend. She was young and she was fair. Like an angel standing there, and her smile it could light up my darkest day. When she pressed me to her heart, sure I prayed we'd never part. But the weather turned and took me far. So sleep, my lovely sleep, where the rippling waters meet, in the valley where the rose and chestnut grow, in that little cottage there, free from worry, free from care, till we meet again. No other love I'll know. Many oceans have I crossed, slept beneath the Southern Cross, and I stood upon the mountains of Peru. And of girls I've known my share, but there's none that could. 
from her with the loveliness and beauty that is you. So sleep, my lovely sleep, where the rippling waters meet, in the valley where the rose and chestnut grow. In that little cottage there, free from worry, free from care, till we meet again, no other love I'll know. Now the years have come and gone, and my traveling days are done. And the sun is sinking slowly in the sky. Once again we'll take a walk by the rose and holly house. And I love you as I did in days gone by. So sleep, my lovely sleep. <laughs> Where the rippling waters meet, in the valley where the rose and chestnut grow, in that little cottage there, free from worry, free from care, till we meet again, no other love I'll and this story is John Coakley, take a fun farewell. Green hill or the Selene, all the wine in where our heroes fell. Farewell, town of Wexford, our capital through freedom strive. On the bridge on wide water, at morning I lay down my life. Farewell, faithful glory, good scarewell, sprite Falcon, whose sons first at our earth uplifted high our flag of green. God foster your manhood from the band to black water shore. Farewell, bright Valakin, through breed of the Macamore. Farewell, bold chandelier, whose trusty gun plays high and slow. In air you dishonor, you never quail before the foe. How brave was your bearing at the tree rocks and rusted wall. Farewell, bold chandelier, you'll fight again when I will call. Farewell, stout Shelburne, and wild Bantry, whose deeds were brave. From Burrow to Barrow, to the tree bull's bloody days. O oh, soul robed in honor, fearless brethren in banner fight. More grand be your story when again you raise a hand of right. Farewell, Fort and Barry, from the Tusker to Barrowsan, who still fights on vanquish as far in me green grassy land. Ye sons of long fighters, may victory yet crown your word. Farewell, Barney Barney, and Barney Tay, that gives you her. As I lay 
slumbering on my silent bed alone. <coughs> Some rakish thoughts came to my mind, which caused me far to roam. I thought to leave my own country <coughs> and the wee girl that I <coughs> adore. So I thought it best to take a trip, strange place first to explore. The night before I sailed away, I was walking over Brocker Hill. When I met my darling on the road, and with tears her eyes did fill. Most stay at home, young man, she said, and do not go away, for I'll have none to comfort me when I am more to say. So I took her by the lily white hand, and I held it hard and fast. Saying adieu, adieu, my pretty fair maid, for my ship it lies in Belfast. And if you prove loyal, I'll prove true, for you know I am well inclined. So we kissed, shook hands, we parted, and I left my wee girl behind. Ah, but when I landed in Greenock Shore, all the people, they all gathered round. They said I was a rakish man, come to take the harvest down. They said I should return home and never more be seen. So without delay, I left straight away for Ireland and lovely green. When Mary saw that I was home, she began for to jump for joy. Won't you come into my arms? For you are my darling boy. Won't you come on to my arms? For you know I have loved you for long. So let them all come as they will. Our wedding it will now go on. Oh, Brocka Hill. A lovely place where fair maids do live in. You think they were the nightingale when they sit down to sing. Where the salmon trout all sport about by Loch Ness verdant shore. So let them all come as they will.
it all the thing that I'm paying to the end. I'll find God's body, no thing it gets worse. In our real life, I know the river. You go out to the gentry for a quarter of an hour, and you watch the TV in the old holiday car. But when you come back, thinking that you will tire, but it's still going on about the summer weather. <laughs> 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 Oh, 
to sing and drink porter down as well. And with that road is happy land, and so we see the tell. It was a bird's and rain from the near a day. The star no doubt of that year fell, now everyone did say. We sang and spun three days and nights, and that all on the top, being some fair night that so that is not a lie. What torment we so found on his visit to Carlow. For five great days and five long nights, he kept us on the go. He sang us lots of his fine songs, and told more stories so, and mingled them with many times of that famous old black blue. He sings and then he listens, all his learning songs away. He sings all that he likes best, or later on to play. And if there's one he fancies more, he'll play it all and all. And as sure as that man's name is found, he'll know it in an hour. He's been many times to Dublin, Radio and tell me story. What age are you now, says Paddy? Sir, stand or only none. But if I were twenty years a young man, I'd jump out o'er that wall. That's a fair reply, says Jackson. And with a laughing day, it's all. For a care of his time comes in me, and for the song he sings, he's very much demanded for functions and for gigs, for weddings and for parties, to name but just a few, but it's all the one to find. He'll sing the same for me or you. He sings all over Lindsay, Perry, Carp, and Clare. He'll gladly go for a night or two, almost anywhere. But he said on leaving Carlo, Sure, it's here I'd love to stay. If it wasn't for my ugly dog and the folks around that day, I pray the good Lord spare you time for many than other years. He'll never see her likes again. You do not know when there you go. Oh, 
what lies in store for you. Take my advice and think twice, I you dying, I shall find truth. From dawn's levity, I send away, or in the month of June, or the bullshit. But the holly head is one in full view soon. The candle town till I went down my work for two for two. For the tally bricks and my songs are in my California crew. Some dig to find the mighty corpses wind as nice as the rhyme meals. And as I read each note said, no cultures wanted fears. How did the note that to me, oh, I little bad a Jew. And in Camden Town of high renown, I had joined my Alpine crew. Some time elapsed, and then at last, an old cockney took me in. For the glove was bad, but I was glad I dare not make it in. So fair was tough, but good and all for lads like me or you. Who sail from home and cross the foam for the giant might have find through. In hail and snow to the work I go, each day that God did send. For to make a pub and keep my job on this I did depend. Until at length it broke my strength, consumption followed to A lonely man lying in the sun, far from my calpine crew. One year elapsed, and then at last, here I am back home once more. Oh, thank God I well the truth to tell more to wiser than before. Oh, Camden Town, on you I from more wonders as I do. For in God's own land I take my stand and I curse my character. <laughs> <laughs> That's that story about an old hen. And this old hen couldn't understand the younger generation. So in Tennessee, you know, just to this old hen and told her to me. It's morning on my nest, I sit, as I did in days gone by. But no brown egg can I produce. No matter how I try. The peers ran down the rooster's feet, he's always standing near, and he joined me in the chorus when I cackling loud and clear. And in that cackling language, that was strictly for the birds, he tried his best to comfort me with those consoling words. I've no regrets your life was long, you lived as well and good. I do appreciate you naturally in second chicken oil. That is what I do remember when I was a bullet bear, that it be an old head party and a cocktail I'd be there. I was favourite with young roosters, and with them I'd like to squeeze. Yet I always wore me feathers, just an inch below me knees. <laughs> In my young days the rooster, he was sometimes called a cock, for they didn't care his father and protector of his flock. He was very fond of chickens and was modest with old hens, yet he often acts a blackout when he gets me in the pen. Oh. <laughs> For three long weeks each year I clutch, that's how I lost my share. 
With a family of 20, it was constant scratch and scrape. <laughs> now, 20 orphan chickens in the safe and orphan sea, they say started incubation in the modern hatchery. But with 20 orphan chickens, it was constant spare and strike to try and educate them on the simple facts of life. <laughs> they need a mother's guardian from the time their foot would walk to save them from all mischief when they'd meet some queer old heart. <laughs> now I mind the night that went on him, how shyly he did me. The blood ran cold up in my comb, and my heart was in my beak. <laughs> now when he made that bed in the spring, should I fell from the roost with fright. Yet he sold my great granddaughter for his supper that same day. Then I told him to ask a question, and said, I owe Mrs. Hen. I suppose that you do often wish that you were young again. But she shook her head in sorrow. She said I'd rather die, for the present generation would make an old hen cry. I'm against insemination. I prefer the old way still. I'm not for contraception, and I wouldn't take the pain. <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm old and feeble and contented with my loss. I suppose, like my old comrade, that I'll end up in the pot. <laughs> There'll be soap upon the menu, and you won't have long to wait. The tackling days are over, and the wishbone on your place. Thank you. <laughs> you have to sing for your slow <laughs> Oh, you get your own, I know that. Yeah. Get your own hard. From the cold of the stool, the soul is now unkind. From the cold hands of the clock, and you wonder once again on the pallid road to carry white waves with cloud and lonesome on the face of last hour. So let familiar names bring oh, out your prayers forever. Born a slider and river, and let the little run sing her timbre for love of me, and may your rest be peaceful between the mountains and the It was there you longed to roam, down by the Farta River, to see the silver salmon, the mirrors in the sand, and to hear the huntsman call. Or the cry, come on, the Mary, to feel the horses' hoof on the sod at evening washing. So let familiar names ring out your prayers forever. On a slider, Aaron River, and let the little run sing her timbre full of dreams, and may you let be peaceful between the mountains. Ah, 
September races. You would be there with your people. I train Lord the Crow Park. You be with them in the van. And most of all on Halloween day, when young and old go traveling, you'd be there with your comrade bold, a hunting for the land. So let familiar names bring out your prayers tomorrow. Be the deep water's wider, Calum River. And let the little run sing hard timber. Thank mm -hmm. you.